That's Aero Friedrichshafen, Europe's global show for aviation. It's a wonderful first start to the day for me. And the first aircraft I wanted to come and look at was the Corsair that George Holman has designed. When I saw this two years ago, yes. it was just a collection of carbon fiber tubes, but got my interest because this is a German and U.S. ultralight. Is that right, George? That's absolutely right, uh, Dan. So, yes, uh, I think we came a long way the last two years from this uh, collection of tubes to the now complete and uh, ready to fly aircraft. And as you said, it's a European and U.S. legal uh, Part 103 ultralight. Yes, yeah, so for our, some of our readers that don't know, Germany has a regulation called the 120 Kilo class. Right. And for those Americans that aren't comfortable with kilos, our Part 103 rule is about 115 kilos. So yes. very, very close rules in both countries. And your aircraft can meet this. Is that correct, George? That's correct. Uh, so we meet the German 120 kilogram or the uh, US 254 pounds rules. Yes. Excellent. Let's talk about the engine up front yes. here because you have this very interesting engine in it. Please describe the engine for me, George. Yeah, it's a Czech engine from a company called Werner. We it's know this a brand, yes. Three cylinder radial engine, a four stroke uh, with 1.6 liter. Uh, I don't know how many cubic inches that That's are. okay. And how um, much horsepower? It's uh, 42 horsepower. 42. Which is, uh, for this weight, uh, seems to be quite good. Well, uh, what's inside? The internal structure is not welded steel, is it? No, uh, welded steel uh, couldn't be make the heavy. weight, yeah. so it's a uh, complete uh, carbon fiber. The fuselage is uh, made from carbon fiber tubes as a space frame. About about this big uh, diameter, yeah, yes? 20 yeah. millimeter, what is it? Uh, a little uh, bit less than yeah, an inch. A little less than an inch tubing throughout the whole yeah. structure. Yeah, and it's uh, done in our own patented uh, construction method uh, to join it to a rigid space frame. Uh, the, the wing is more or less uh, state-of-the-art carbon fiber uh, spars, carbon fiber torsion box. It has some aluminum parts. The one is the area to step on to get inside. Ah, okay, and, that's aluminum. And the wing tips to make it uh, a little bit more rigid. Load-carrying structure is carbon fiber. Now, you have not flown the aircraft yet, I understand. Unfortunately. Because, so today, how ironic. You could be flying today because it's beautiful outside. Instead, you're in this hall. <laughs> yes. So, but soon, I hope, huh? Yes, uh, we think to do it in the next uh, two weeks. We have done all the ground tests, all the taxi tests, and uh, yeah, we think it's ready to fly. But we need, uh, of course, a nice weather, calm. Thank you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the engine now. You you thought you were concerned that maybe a three-cylinder radial engine would be too much vibration. Yes, that was our concern, but uh, we use uh, standard uh, engine rubber mounts and uh, we were surprised from the very first start it behaves fine. I mean, it's an issue when you have a 50 kilogram engine and 70 kilogram structure behind it. <laughs> yes. It's more like you attach the structure to the engine <laughs> than the other way around. That's well put, yes. So, so put that in perspective again. Engine weighs 50, pound, uh, 50 kilograms with everything, I presume. With everything, including all the And the entire tank. structure of the aircraft is only 70. Yes. So the engine weighs almost as much as the whole rest of the airframe. Almost, yes. That's <laughs> why we were concerned. But uh, we were really uh, positively surprised. It uh, behaves nice. Excellent, excellent. Well, we wish you good luck on your first flight. Let's come back to the airframe again then. All carbon fiber tubes, fairly small. But let's talk about the joining of one tube to another tube. They're not welded, obviously. No, obviously not. And they are not just uh, bonded, uh, because the bonding would never be strong enough. Ah. And uh, you can't bolt them uh, right. as well. So it's a uh, technology using rovings, which is uh, the pure carbon fiber. And it's a uh, we, we wind them around the tubes in such a way that they are always loaded by tension. So the trick is not to have the, the resin ah, taking the load, by tension, eh? but having the rovings, the carbon fiber taking the load. 
Ah, that's very interesting. It sounds very labor intensive, is it? Uh, actually, yes, it is. Uh, we have to admit that. Uh, but we want to use the strengths of the, the tube and not uh, by bolting sure, sure. it only use 10% of the uh, potential. I see, yes. If you bolt this together, then you lose a lot of the strength of exactly, the tube. Exactly. Ah, okay. So to use the potential, we take this labor intensive uh, process, but we think it's worth it. All right, so for the U.S. market, uh, you'll use a kit construction of this. Uh, how long is the build time for someone to build it then? So ourselves, we need to assemble it from the kit uh, between 400 and 500 hours. Okay. So you know yourself, it depends on the builder. If of he course, wants of course. Uh, a uh, version that flies or if you want this dream aircraft so it starts at four to five hundred hours and it's open and always sure and the fuselage comes fully assembled and already tempered in our autoclave oh, oh yeah and you would have to autoclave it or heat it for those that don't know that uh, to warm it to a yes. specific temperature and then the uh, carbon fiber sets in position right normally cured at room temperature but uh, to reach the stability even in uh, bright uh, sunshine you need to stabilize it at a higher temperature ah, okay okay so you'll do all of that very difficult part for someone to try to do and yes. they'll do things like covering and perhaps mount the engine things like this yes all the uh, covering engine mounting all the, the assembly okay so the kit that the Americans will build, uh, and uh, when will they be able to acquire this kit, George? So we will be able to deliver to the U.S. by mid of 2019. Okay, very good. And the covering that I see on here, what, how, what kind of covering are you using on the aircraft? It's the Oratex covering, which is ready painted. Okay, so one thing they don't have to do, because the Oratex, uh, for those that may not know, Oratex can be available in various colors, yes. and this means you don't add the weight of paint, Exactly. but you also don't have the time it takes to paint, which is kind of its own art Yes. to definitely. paint an aircraft well. So it's a big advantage, yes, it's yes. Uh, lightweight, and it says after covering it's, it's ready. Excellent. Okay, well let's have a web address, George, where people can go find out more and follow your progress toward first flight and when kits are available, where do you send them on the web and we'll put it on the screen for them. Yes, so it's uh, jh-aircraft.com. Okay, pretty easy. That's his name, George Holman-aircraft.com. Yeah. You can find that pretty easy. I've already written about the earlier aircraft and I'll have more and lots of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining George Holman and myself here at Arrow.